Many naturally occurring objects have a complicated appearance and when we look closer the complexity only increases. If we zoom in for a close look we find that small parts of the object resemble smaller replicas of the whole object. For instance, if we look at a branch from a fir tree, it may resemble the entire fir tree. And similarly, a floret of broccoli might look like the whole broccoli. This is true of many organic structures, including some within our own bodies, such as the veins, arteries and capillaries of our circulatory system and the branching structure of our respiratory system from our trachea to our lungs. Self-similar objects such as these are known as fractals. It is rather surprising that the idea of fractals can be traced back to the musings of a seriously injured soldier during the horrors of the First World War.
I've generated these illustrations on my PC. They show colour-coded representations of Julia's ideas known as Julia sets. They have a fractal structure and are like relief maps. The colours are arbitrary but they are determined by a mathematical property of each region of the map as deduced by the computer following Julia's algorithm and regions sharing the same property are given the same colour. Computer generated imagery has really taken off in recent decades. It now has many applications, especially in the video games industry and special effects for the film industry. These effects employ sophisticated mathematical algorithms, many of which involve fractals. I've long been interested in maths and the arts and the often surprising influences that pass between one and the other. Next year, Oxford University Press are publishing a book that I've written on the subject. It's called Celestial Tapestry, the warp and weft of art and mathematics. So look out over the next few months for further videos that we'll be making to explore this fascinating subject.